Hello everyone and welcome back to PAX and Recreation and today I have an oddity for you all. You know I love tokens, I know you love tokens, everybody loves tokens. So remember the time when tokens were a thing? No? Then I have this for you, Creature for Forge from WizKids, Magic the Gathering. And they really really believed that this will be like a multiple issues kind of thing because you have overwhelming swarm and in case you are in doubt because likely you are cards not included so this is a magic the gathering product that has no cards it just has figures so you know all those pesky tokens that you use from time to time well you can have a figure and um, this is the less packaging to ever be packaged because this this thing comes like this and on one side you have some creatures and on the other side you have some other creatures cars not included but no matter how much you read here you won't see how many units come inside or anything like that it just says uh is a thing and it says distributed one thing that i love is Distributed in Europe by completely independent distribution. <laughs> okay, what a great name. So, what is inside? Well, you pull this, and it's gacha, my friends. It's just gacha. And uh, let's see how many, how much gacha is here. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh wait! Oh, there's that. There's actually a freaking ton of them. Hmm. The YouTuber in me is thinking, maybe we should do multiple videos about this. So ten. Did I say ten? Right. So one, two, three, four, five. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10, I guess it's 20, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, learn to count with packs and recreation, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. Yep, this should have been multiple videos. <laughs> I am afraid, but hey. And, well, the empty box. Well, hey, get ready for a podcast in which we open figures. Which, this opens a dangerous precedent, because now I can open any figure I want. <laughs> <laughs> Get ready for a Dragon Ball video next. Okay, so let's move this. In terms of packaging, as you can see, I love that they are made to be in a box, but they, they have a thing, so you can be like, yeah, you can, just, you can just entice people with this. Creature Forge. Each pack contains one token figure. WizKids, Magic the Gathering, same thing on the back. The image on the back is always the same, it never changes. So maybe you get an angel. And it's very light. I don't know if you can tell by how it dances. And I can tell you ahead of time that the figures are going to be very, very small because all of this is plastic. So without further ado, let's start our token adventure. <laughs> well, that is a small figure. God damn. Um, I guess that not all figures are this small. At least they are painted. I, I was. It didn't say anywhere that they were not painted, but I was fearing for a second that they were like a Warhammer figure or something. What is this? It says seven out of 28 so even if you have the 
best of lucks in your in your pools, you will never get the whole set because it's 28 and we only got 24. I want to remember. Oh, there it is. I want to remember the name of this. It's a Saproling one one. Interesting. I mean, there is a part of me that kind of likes the idea of like you know for commander games and commander night. Nowadays, it's very chill, right? You play in your house, so or somewhere, but like Commander is very chill. Commander is a casual format, after all. And a part of me really likes the idea of being like, yeah, like you know, you bring you 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 have bling on your Commander games because you have your Commander decks and your sleeves and your Commander boxes, and this is like the ultimate bling. It's like, oh, I have a token, and boom, <laughs> one one sapling. There you go. Uh, very 3D. It's funny that the thing that is in 3D is the um, is the tokens and not the actual powerful cards, but it makes sense because if there is something that you're going to repeat a lot of times, are tokens. So that's number one. Let's see number two. And does it say anywhere? Nope, it doesn't. It doesn't say anywhere that it's painted or unpainted, but at least it doesn't have like a I guess that they will need to have an asterisk saying, oh, figure not painted. Okay, this is a lot bigger. I guess that the sapling is smaller for a reason. Um, this is a 5-5 five, five worm. And it's kind of dirty in the base. You see, that? it's like scratch or dirty or something. I know what you may be thinking looking at this. Like, well, I can 3D print that shit. And I will be like, yes, thank you. Please send me the links to the... <laughs> to the to the blueprints to 3D print some of these. The good side of this is that, well, at least they are painted. Um, and God knows that I have awful hands for painting, so this saves me that trouble. Uh, this is what the spider. Yep, spider reach one, two. See, it's like badly painted. I don't know if you can see, but it's like, see, like. It's like dirty, but it's not dirty, it's just like badly painted. I mean, you can't ask for more, for anything else, right? But uh, Spider Reach 1-2, uh, lovely. I mean, there is some charm to this, not gonna lie. You play so many games of Magic the Gathering that the one thing that you end up seeing a lot, it is, in fact, the tokens. From what year was this? Copyright... 2018. Oh, <laughs> ye wish. Okay. I discovered this fairly recently. I didn't know this thing existed. This is what I. Pirate? Yep. Pirate. Menace 2 2. <laughs> and it's a, this is the first one with a black base, so I guess that's a black pirate. The boxes are kind of okay. I guess that you can reuse them to carry them around. Maybe. Oh, that's a fairy, right? Fairy rogue. Flying 1-1. One, one. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Better than an amiibo. Well, 2018, that will be... Well, actually, 2018, like, the Switch was already out. So the, the amiibos... We're already downhill, so I will see this when the amiibo craze was a thing, but that was 2014 with the Wii U and the Smash Brothers. Uh, I wouldn't. Like Magic the Gathering has potential. Some, some apparently only the Sapperling has the right to, like fit properly in a box. Um, <laughs> Black Zombie two two. <laughs> this is great. It's like, I mean, don't get me wrong. It's awful, but it's great at the same time. I don't know if you're in the same wavelength as I am right now, but like, again, it's like an amiibo, but there is this thing with tokens, right? Like since no one cares, that, ooh, a uh, sleeper, nice. Since no one cares about tokens, because whatever, like, right? yeah, sleeper one one shit, <laughs> nice. Like, no one cares about tokens because tokens are, well, not real cards, and they are they are spawned from cards, and you destroy them, and whatever. 
you can just bling them and sometimes you just use placeholders right like i i, was, I remember using coins and stuff sometimes and now we have actual cars and people some, do some stuff and this is like the ultimate flex this is a wolf right yeah two two wolf this is an armored wolf this shouldn't be oops this shouldn't be like a two two it should be like three three this is an armored wolf come on I love it that they, they gave it an armor, maybe because they thought like, oh, a Grey Wolf is too boring of a figure. Add some stuff to it. Is this a bug? Yep, insect. Flying haste. One, one. <laughs> Look at that. Well, they are somewhat detailed. I have to give them that. I am really, honestly, debating with myself if I should keep the plastic boxes to carry them around or not. And just like, F it. So far, we haven't repeated anything, so that's that's good. Pegasus? Oh, the Pegasus one is nice. It's a black main Pegasus as well. Yeah, Pegasus flying one one, not bad. Like fairly detailed, not bad, not bad of a, you know, not bad, not great, but not bad. I mean, I love it how technically their size is at scale, more or less, right? Like the worm is the biggest one, is a five five, but the Pegasus is almost the same size and is a is a one one as well. It's because of the wings, yes, but. Uh, Still. Ooh, a knight. See, some of them are in the box, some of them are not. Oh, it's a soldier. Soldier 1-1. One, one. Good details. And the sword is not that curved compared to some amiibos. <clears throat> Link. Right? So, not bad. I think we are halfway there, maybe? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Almost. Ooh, a slime? Yeah, this one, they didn't, they, they didn't even try to fit it. Maybe they tried, but... Yeah. 12, no, 18. Yeah, 18 out of 28. Is an ooze. Asterisk, asterisk. Oh, and it's it's, it's semi-transparent. That's nice. See, there is there is some love here. It really depended on what was the MSRP for this, because I mean, this is a this is a secondary secondary product. Product. What I mean is, normally in Magic the Gathering, uh, like Magic the Gathering. Is, is a luxury, I mean, it's a game, right? And it's a luxury, luxury, in the sense that you can buy Magic the Gathering cards, but if we are honest here... Oh, Spirit? Nice. If we are honest here, you don't need to buy the card. I mean, you know, you can proxy the cards to try them out, you can play online for free. Like, you don't need to buy Magic the Gathering to play Magic the Gathering. You can, you should, sure, you need to, I mean, otherwise the game stops, I guess. But, um, yeah, Spirit, Flying, 1-1. One, one. And it's also transparent. That's very nice. I think it's one of the best looking ones, and it's very simple, even. Not bad. But this sort of product is, you know, it's salt on top of salt. So, you have cars which are like a game already is a neck is a luxury and then oh, is a rat nice death touch one one and is that is more or less at scale that's nice i mean scale with the others more or less i mean come on um but for you to buy these you have to really be into magic be into tokens and being into bling because yes these are some of the most 
common creature tokens. Like, I think that the only one that I never pulled in, in recent decks is Pirates. But all the others I've, I pull or play against. Oh, a Goblin. <laughs> nice. It's weird that it's not green, it's yellow. It's not, it's not red or green, it's yellow. That's kind of weird, but the, the figure is nice. <laughs> Very nice. Two out of 28. But again, for you to for you to buy this, you have to really be into the whole bling aspect of magic. So it really comes down to the price, right? Like how much are you willing to pay for this? Um and is it worth it, right? For bling. I mean, everything is bling in magic, you don't need anything really, but still. This is what I plant. Yep. I plant zero one. Nice. Five or 28. Well, we haven't... Let me touch some wood, but we haven't got any repeated ones yet. And we know that we're not getting the collection because there are 28 and we only have 24. But still, there are three, six, eight remaining. Let's see. I guess that this is the point where we start getting repeating ones. There you go. And it had to be a plan. The less cool one. That's a shame. Even more because I think of all the decks that I have, I don't have any one, any deck that like generates plans. So I have saplings and spiders and worms. Ooh, big money. What is this? A demon? Yep. Demon flying 5-5. Five, five. I guess we're only missing an angel now. Not, not bad. 24 out of 28. Not bad. Of course, you get more excited with stuff like demons and spirits and stuff than all of any of the others because those are more epic figures, I guess. And the goblin is yellow, which is like, I mean, not to be racist with goblin colors or anything, but it's like, really? Of all the colors for a goblin, and you pick a yellow one? It's because it's a token? Like, a zombie? Well, this is a very dramatic zombie, by the way. It's, a, it's like a beach zombie or a, or, a, or a Karen zombie because it has like, it's beach clothes. Very dramatic. Love it. I guess of the things that are that you can see in the box, we are missing. God damn it! We are missing the epic, the epic ones. We are missing um, a soldier. Well, no, it's, it is. This is a soldier. So we're missing angels and. Dragons and dinosaurs, which is ironically is all everything that appears in the back of the package, which is not the same as the back of the box. But well, you can you can play guessing. Like right? it dances, it feels big. Oh, it's a beast, right? Yep, it's a tree tree beast. Interesting. Is there is there a bear token? I, I would like a bear token. It's interesting how it's like mispainted in some places and it looks kind of dirty, but hey. I don't know if it's just me. And again, let me know if, you know, it's a me thing. But I really believe that tokens in Magic are part of the game. Like, I think like, oh, a beast. Oh, a sliver. Oh, you know. Even though slivers are very, you know, magic creatures, like there's an insect. Okay, but this insect can be anything, but like, I don't know, the worm of these ones, the most recognizable ones as Magic the Gathering creatures, even though they are not original to Magic, but I, I guess it will be the Goblin, the Spirit, the Sliver, and the Ooze, maybe. The others are also Magic cards, of course, but I wouldn't call them like, you know, the Magic cards. But I, I mean, <laughs> I'm loving the rat. Oh, the bear, there you go. <laughs> nice. 
The only time you will see someone excited about a bear. Ooh, and they put, they put him some some bangs here because otherwise it will be too boring. <laughs> see my point? It's a two-two bear. Everyone loves a bear. Fifteen? No, thirteen out of twenty-eight. Don't worry, it's not just you. I'm also having a hard time reading this. <laughs> nice. Look at that. Second to last. This doesn't move and doesn't weigh anything. So it's either a sapling, a plant, or a rat. Oh, a mimic? No, a treasure token. Nice, a treasure token. Yep. <laughs> okay, this is nice. I mean, maybe it's just me. I'm just like the, the bling bling guy when I play magic. But I mean, come on, look at this. Yes, I agree with you. It's a pain in the ass to carry all of this with you. But if you're playing in your house or something, it's kind of cool. If you can get like a box to carry them. But again, yeah, I, can, I mean, it's nice, but it's a pain in the ass. I can see why this like didn't took off or anything. Last one also doesn't wait, doesn't dance. So it's not a big creature. Is again rat, plant, maybe treasure, and is a pixie or a fairy. We have another of these things to open. Maybe we'll do it in another video because uh, based on your feedback. And uh, let me know what you what you think about this. This is our fairy rogue, one one with flying. Is um, I mean this is interesting from the. From the ones here, I mean, how many how many different we got? So we got the fairy rogue, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Not bad. Twenty out of twenty-eight in in twenty-four boosters. That's not bad. I can I can assure you that if we open another one of these boxes, everything is going to be repeated. Now you can tell that not everyone is the same at, in the eyes of God here because yeah, like the ones that are repeated are not the coolest ones. But hey, we only open a box, so we only have that sample size, right? But um, the demon is obviously the best and cool coolest looking one right i mean kind of a generic demon doesn't scream magic or anything i think that the things that scream magic the most besides the treasure token because magic um are the worm the worm really screams magic to me but i had to see it as a worm first because at the beginning i was like oh it's a snake so i couldn't remember that there is like a worm and the, the mouth is like all sorts of filthy which i like so the sapling is very magic, but you have to really remember that it's a sapling, I guess. Um, I love the rat. It's just so small and cool. Um, the zombie is cool, but it doesn't scream magic. Same same as the pirate. is like, this is just a pirate dude. I mean, you can, you can use anything for this, really. The wolf looks like that wolf from Monster Rancher or something. Like, why, why, why a wolf with armor? Like, what's up here? And the sliver obviously screams magic uh, because slivers, right? And it's like copper and silver. Like they really put some effort into this one. Um, the most recognizable one, I think. Pegasus is super cool, but I mean, it's a Pegasus. It can be anything really. From it doesn't scream magic. The knight is the same. The knight can be a figure from Warhammer. Like no one will know. But it's you know it's very well detailed and it's kind of cool. So there is that. I guess that my favorite is the spirit because some of like obviously tokens have different art and it can be whatever. But when I think about the spirit token, I always think about this design. And this design is right there, is the spirit token that I'm familiar with. So this is very cool. I, I like this one. And the ooze one as well. The ooze one is I, I know it's can be it's can be Dungeons and Dragons or a hentai or something, but uh, I like the texture, I like that it's semi-transparent, it's kind of cool. The bear, I am all in with the bear, I just don't understand the yellow lines, the, the yellow bangs that they put on, on, on the poor guy, but I, it's cool. So, my ranking out of this, because we need to rank everything, right? So, my ranking here, and well, and the beast, right? Like, the beast, the beast can be anything, really. It can. It, this can be from a, 
from a from a Christmas uh, construction or something. It can be anything. And the rat, I mean, we're gonna love the rat. Look at this boy. So, um, my ranking will be in terms of recognizability as magic things. I guess at sliver, like I, I can see people wanting to buy a sliver token, even if you as a figure, because it's a sliver. You don't get to see slivers that often. So a sliver, a spirit, ooze, and then worm, I guess. But worm, I'm not really magic. Maybe the treasure token, but it's a treasure. So goblin. The problem is that it's yellow. So this will be my top recognizability ones in terms of like left to right the demon is cool but it's just whatever it can be it can be something that comes with diablo 4 you know what i mean it's like whatever um in terms of coolness of the figure itself i still defend that these three are in the top the worm is cool but it's i mean it can be anything i thought it was a snake at the beginning um spider is kind of meh poor thing doesn't deserve the the hate um I guess the demon is cool. I like the Pegasus. And uh, yeah, pretty much. It will be my top five in terms of coolness. The ones that I think are going to use the most. Oh, that's simple. Treasure token. <laughs> nothing nothing screams bling like having a treasure token token figure. <laughs> it's like, ha, create a treasure token and then just like, a die next to it or something. Or I don't know, something. Um, I think I'm going to use the treasure a lot, a sliver with a sliver deck, likely, and maybe the spirit with the spirit deck. The others, I don't have that much use for them, to be honest. Maybe I will give the zombie one to a friend that has a very strong zombie deck, and the fairies to a friend that has very strong fairy deck. Uh, but besides that, you know, it's just like cool stuff. I don't know. Let me know what you thought about it. Uh, did you like the Creature Forge Overwhelming Swarm? And each pack contains one token for you. I don't know. Will you buy this? What do you think is the right value for this? And um, it's between Whiskits and NECA. Well, that explains the quality of the figure. So, and it confirms confirms to safety requirements of blah, 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 which I can tell you is if you will suffocate by eating them. I'm pretty sure about that. Product for adult collectors, ages 14 and above. Ah, so for this, I'm an adult. Okay. So, I don't know, let me know down below and let me know if we should try to go and hunt for the missing ones. I don't have a list of them. The list doesn't come with the box. I mean, we can check in the wiki, I guess. So I will do that after the video. I wanted this to be a surprise even for me. But we can tell right here that the three coolest ones are missing, which is Angel, Dinosaur, and Dragon. And yes, all of them are based on tokens. So if there is a yellow goblin, it's because there's a yellow goblin token. I guess I will try to find them for the next video and try to do like a pairing of them but hey if we got 20 out of 24 and there are 28 and we're missing this tree what will be the others i don't know maybe a clue Th those are the cool ones that i would like to see i'd like to see a clue token mind you this is me talking without checking the wiki so i don't know the list of this so i guess a clue token since the treasure token is open game i guess clue although i hate clue tokens i think they are like whatever a food token that will be very useful for the Arthur rings deck um and what else um i can't think of anything else right now angel is already there dragon dinosaur zombie pirate warrior knight i guess because this is a soldier right yeah this is a soldier so i guess a human and a knight if i had like a you know if i had to try to guess and then yeah, clue token, food token, ah, and a blood token, a blood a blood token, like a blood vial. That would be cool as well. But yeah, let me know down below what you think. And if you will buy this and if you think this is cool. And if more importantly, if you will use this, I mean, do you think this is viable to carry with you at least one? If you, your deck is very heavy on tokens. I, I don't mean like carrying an army of the same token, but at least one as a showpiece and be like, yeah, my Pegasus token. And you know, I don't know, which is funny because then your tokens are going to be cooler looking than a card. But yeah, does it, by the way, does it defeat magic's purpose? Because the whole thing about magic was to be easy to be carry, to carry around and to be like a deck of cards, not much trouble. And with this, you start needing 
to have bigger boxes, even if only for one token, you need to have some sort of box to carry it over, which maybe I will, I will save a couple of these just to carry them around. This seems like a better thing to do. I don't know. Let me know down below. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time on packs and recreation. Bye.